All right, so I'm bringing you guys something completely different and not a gameplay video instead to celebrate the likelihood of Super coming back because, you know, Jump Fiesta, you got this announcement coming up. Hopefully, it's actually Super returning. Geekdom, please, don't get my hopes up again this time only so I can be disappointed. I hope it's actually the return of Super coming up. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do a tier list for the first time ever. So I went ahead and checked out the tier list. I'm like, this is the top one, right? I look at the characters, you expect me to actually make a tier list out of all of this? This is way too many characters, so forget this one, then you've got this one, this is still way too many characters, at least for me, I mean you got Bulma in there, I, I don't want to go ahead and rank Bulma in characters that aren't fighters or whatever, in, in characters from the movie too, so we're not doing this one, we're not even doing this one either, instead I found this one right here, a lot less characters, but these are relevant characters, especially in Super and also in Dragon Ball Z. So this is the tier list that I'm going with. We're gonna go from best of the best, great characters, good characters, okay I guess, and the characters that, you know what, I could do without. I'm good. If you're trying to offer me these characters, you know what, you, you can keep them. Let's start this off with Android 16. Let's face it, he's not relevant at all at this point. He wasn't relevant at, in Super at all. He wasn't in the Tournament of Power, anything like that. He had his moment in the Cell Saga, and that was it. He got his head crushed. He's not a terrible character. You know what? For, for 16, I'm gonna go okay, I guess. He seems also like a nice guy, so I kind of feel bad. Even though it's, you know, it's an animated character, I kind of feel bad to put the guy in the now I'm good. He's not a terrible character, so just okay, I guess. Now, this next one... You know, might surprise some people here, or might not. I don't know how, you know, most people here feel about this character, but... Boo! So we've got two boos here. We've got Fat Boo, we've got Kid Boo. We don't have Super Boo for some reason. But I kind of feel the same way about both these characters. These characters, not a fan. Out of all the Dragon Ball villains, Boo is my least favorite villain. So, Boo goes in the nah, I'm good section. He, to me, was the worst villain. He doesn't have a cool design, especially Fat Boo. Uh, nothing cool about him. He's just a silly character. At least the other villains had a cool factor about him. Kid Boo looked a bit better, looked a bit cooler, but he was still kind of a dumb, just strong character, so I'm putting both of them in the nah, I'm good section. You know, the, the Boo saga wasn't bad. There were some really cool moments in it, but the villain himself could have been much better, I feel. So both Boos go in the nah, I'm good section. If Super Boo was here, actually, I would have probably put him in the okay, I guess. Super Boo, I think, is the better of the three Boos. He could actually talk. When he'd absorb somebody, you would see the changes uh, on the outside. Now, next up, let's go with Ginyu. Ginyu, I actually liked. He was kind of a comedic character, uh, and I liked the fact that he had a unique ability, the, the, the ability to change bodies with anybody he wants. That's pretty cool, so I'm going to put him in the good section. Now, next up, we're going to go with Kid Goten. I'm going to put him in the... Okay, I guess. I'm not huge fans of Goten or Kid Trunks. They're, they're okay. When it comes to Cab, I feel like he had a lot of potential. Maybe he didn't reach all that potential on the show. But he wasn't as annoying as some other characters from his universe. So I'll put him in the okay, I guess. And now I think that leads to other characters in his universe. I'm going to go here with Khalifla. So Khalifla to me was a bit annoying. I'm going to put her in the nah, I'm good. As far as Kale goes, where, where, where's Kale at? I know I saw Kale here. So there we go. She's got the Berserker form that makes her, you know, a bit more interesting than Khalifla. She could go okay, I guess. And then that brings me to their fusion, Kefla. Kefla would honestly, I think I'd put her in the okay, I guess, as well. Maybe she's slightly above Kale, but not so much that I would put her in the good section. She's she's all right. She's got one you know one cool attack where she's got like these spinning discs in both hands. But she's just all right to me. And afterwards, we've got Frost. It's also kind of a toss up for me. It's between okay, I guess, and not nah, good. I mean, he had his moments where he kind of made the show a bit more interesting because you weren't sure if he was gonna align with Frieza or not. It's Frieza and our Frieza and Frost gonna help each other out we'll put him in the okay i guess section although th this i i might come back to it maybe i'll change my mind here moving on to broly i like broly i think broly has one of the coolest looks ever from the moment i saw him i was like yo that's a cool looking character and then with the new movie that you know the uh super movie which i did actually see uh they actually you know gave him a brain he, he, he isn't just yelling kakarot and that's all he can say he can actually talk this and that i would put him 
in the great section. Definitely not best of the best, but I would put him in the great. Who, who should be next here? We'll go with Gotenks. All right, so you guys saw me. I put Goten and Kid Trunks right here. Don't care for them too much. They're just all right. But Gotenks, I like. I like Gotenks. He's a comedic character. He doesn't really... He's never really got anything done, but he's a fun, cocky character. And despite him playing around too much and that costing him and such, I like the character himself. You know, he's a bit full of himself, but I like him that way. We'll put him in the good. I like Gotenks. Next up is gonna be Cell. Alright, so Cell wasn't in Super at all, so really his relevancy is all about Dragon Ball Z. And you know what? In Dragon Ball Z, my favorite saga was the Cell Saga. Cell was, to me, probably the best villain. Well, if you count Vegeta as a villain, then I'd say maybe Vegeta, but as far as I guess non-human villains or non-sane villains, Cell would probably be my favorite villain out of Dragon Ball Z, and he had, he had my favorite saga. There were so many great moments with the Cell saga. You had Spotlight on Trunks, on Vegeta, on Goku, on Gohan, all against Cell, even Piccolo, and Perfect Cell had an awesome voice. On top of that, he had a cool theme song. Cell was just cool. He was a cool villain, so I'm gonna put him in the great. If he was featured in Super and he had some good moments in Super, then he would likely have made the best of the best. But right now, from what we've seen in Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super, well, nothing from Cell in Dragon Ball Super, I'm gonna put him in the great. I really like Cell. Let's go ahead and go with Topo. So, Topo is an interesting one here. Initially, I did not like Topo at all. And I'm talking about normal Topo, not God of Destruction Topo, or whatever, just Topo. I didn't like him. He didn't have a cool design, he, you know, he had a flabby physique, <laughs> but then he turned into an Akuma looking character like this. He, he definitely switched things up. He went from fat to jacked, and he looked a lot cooler. Obviously, he was a lot stronger. That, to me, put him from a non good to a good. Samasa, to me, was a bit whiny. Um, he was a snake. I couldn't wait until Beerus would go ahead and Hakai him. I was like, yo, he's the bad guy. Go ahead and like get rid of him right now so it doesn't cause any problems later on. Obviously, that didn't work. I think I'm going to put him in the Nam Good section. On his own, he's kind of meh. Goku Black or Rose is going to get the okay, I guess. Fusamasu, I don't know right now. I'll, for now, I'll keep him in the I'm um, Good section. At this point, you know what? We'll put in the Nam Good section. Look. It's cool, he's got super speed and all, but the design isn't all that great, he doesn't look that cool. He honestly was gonna get eliminated by Hit if it wasn't for his partner, you know, helping him out. Yeah, I'll put him in the non good section, he, just, he wasn't anything great or whatever. Then Jiren, Jiren. As far as Jiren goes, look, I'll put him in the okay, I guess. Jiren wasn't really a cool character to me. He looked cooler once, you know, he went like full rage mode. Uh, and he ditched the Pride Troopers uh, outfit, that made him look less goofy. But initially, like, base form Jiren, or whatever you want to call it, just looked like a generic alien design that was jacked and had the Pride Trooper outfit on. The biggest thing about Jiren is his strength. The biggest, or the coolest thing, I guess, was how strong he was and how, how little things affected him. Like, somebody would hit him with a huge attack, does nothing to Jiren, he can take somebody out with the smallest attacks, that was cool, but that was like the coolest part about him. Now, next up is a really popular character, Vegeta. And as far as Vegeta goes, he's going right. Just, just kidding, what are you talking about? This is Vegeta we're talking about. Of course, Vegeta is going to get the best of the best. Vegeta is my favorite character. He's the, he's the coolest character in this series. He's got to go in the best of the best. Vegeta fan all the way. Always been a Vegeta fan, so... He makes it right off the top, and he's the first one to make it there for me. Beerus is a nice, he's a strong character, but also comedic character, kind of like Goku. And uh, I've really grown to like Beerus. So, for me, Beerus would go in the great section. So, when it comes to Trunks, for me, Dragon Ball Z Trunks was so much cooler than Dragon Ball Super Trunks. His entrance was so cool, so badass when he came in, sliced Frieza up, gave his sword to King Cold, still eliminated him, destroyed him. In Super though, just the design of Trunks wasn't as cool, he didn't act as cool. One thing I always liked about Trunks though, is that unlike his dad, he knows when to finish things off. He doesn't go ahead and play around with the enemy. If he's got the opportunity, he's gonna finish it off and, you know, actually destroy the enemy. So, it's a tough one for Trunks, man. 
Uh, Dragon Ball Z, if it was just like Dragon Ball Z, maybe I'd put him right here, but you've got Super 2, so it's a tough one. I'll put him in the good section for right now. But, like, with him in the good section, I'm looking at Topo right next to him, and I'm like, you know what, I like Trunks a lot more than Topo, so Topo might just go right here. You know what, I'm gonna put Topo in the okay, I guess. Anyways, moving on, Hit. Hit was one of the coolest characters from Dragon Ball Super. That's not one of the main, or that's not one of the Z fighters, or somebody from Universe 7. He was so cool, a lot cooler than Jiren. The fact that he's so quick, you can't see his attacks, I love that. He does the quickness a lot better, a lot cooler than this boy does. So for me, Hit, honestly, Hit might just go in the best of the best. He wasn't in Z, but he was so cool in Super. It's between great and best. You know what, for right now, I'll put him in best of the best, and he might actually stay there. Now on to Master Roshi. Master Roshi, I love Master Roshi. He's a funny character and Super actually elevated him for me because in Super you really had a showcase on him in Tournament of Power and I enjoyed his time in the Tournament of Power and he actually helped out the team a good amount. He eliminated a bunch of people. So I would put him in the great section. Next up is Goku. Yo, do I really need to say anything? Goku, I don't even know why there's two Gokus. I guess they're separating. Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku and Ultra Instinct Goku. Look, they're both Goku. Kaioken, it's great that they brought back Kaioken. I was like, oh, that's cool. They actually brought it back. And he was able to go ahead and stack it on top of Super Saiyan Blue. But yeah, it's Goku. He's the ultimate good guy. He's the strongest of the bunch. He's got Ultra Instinct. He's He's got a bunch of techniques. Some of the coolest techniques in the series. And they actually are effective. You know, you can win with them, unlike, unfortunately, Vegeta's run of Flash. But anyways, moving on to a villain now, Frieza. Alright, so, if this was just me basing characters just off of Dragon Ball Z alone, Frieza would be... Maybe go in the great section, right along with Cell. But, super elevated Frieza for me. Really did. Uh, a ton. From Frieza getting the Golden Frieza form, to him joining the Z Fighters in the Tournament of Power, and at the end, along with Goku, helping each other out to take out Jiren, that was an awesome moment. I've got to put Frieza in the best of the best, man. He's the best of the best of the villains, and he's also uh, one of the best characters in the series for me. Now, on to Yamcha. Yamcha's cool, but he's barely in action nowadays. Look, he's gonna go in the good, because I like him. But there's other characters that are above him, or at least other Z fighters above him that I'm about to put. Now onto good guy Krillin, Goku's best friend. I like Krillin, man, and he's got one of the cooler attacks in Destructo Disc, also Solar Flare as well. He's been helpful, he's been useful to the Z Warriors when Goku was taking on Vegeta, also in Namek along with Gohan, and he kind of caused Goku to go Super Saiyan. Um, so, you know what? He's gonna go in the great section. Next up, his wife, 18, the most badass female character in Dragon Ball, the one that broke Vegeta's arm in Dragon Ball Z, the one that eliminated one of the most annoying characters in Dragon Ball Super, Ribrianne from the Tournament of Power. I've gotta go ahead and put her in the great section. And I like that she's all business, that when she was taking on Hercules, she was like, yo, you're gonna pay me some money or I'm gonna eliminate you. That leaves us with six. Let's go ahead and go with Piccolo here. Piccolo is an awesome character. He may not be one of the strongest, but I think he's one of the smartest. I love the special beam cannon. I love whenever he takes off his gear, that weighted gear, and puts it or throws it on the floor and you hear that bang because of, you know, it's weighted. And at some point he was the strongest Z fighter in Dragon Ball Z. He's just cool all around and for me, one of the best of the best. Now on to, you know what, let's go with his rival, Android 17. So, Android 17, if I was only going over Dragon Ball Z, he probably would have made maybe the good. It would have been here or here, but after Super, after the Tournament of Power more specifically, he makes the best of the best. Android 17 in the Tournament of Power was amazing. Everybody calls him the MVP. He was the MVP. He actually won the tournament, so he was indeed the MVP. Literally, one of my favorite characters at this point. You know what? Let's make it quick here for the fusions. Bam and bam. Gogeta, Vegito, awesome. Hey, I like both Vegeta and Goku. When they form together, they make some cool characters. Even though it's for a very short burst, they're really cool, so we're going to put him in the best of the best. And that leaves us with Gohan and Tien. And I'm going to start with Tien and say that I think he's one of the most underrated, but most of all, most underappreciated characters in Dragon Ball. Uh, I think some people clown on him because of what happened in Super in the Tournament of Power. He didn't do too well there, but 
What I really like about Cien is despite being really outmatched, you know, when it comes to him and the villains, despite them being a lot stronger than him, he still tries. He does his best to try and hold back the villains to try and help in any way he can. Uh, one of the, you know, biggest examples of that is when he held off Cell so that the androids could go ahead and get some more time to get out of there, to get out of Dodge. Despite Cell being a lot stronger than Tien, despite the tribe being, being dangerous for Tien to go ahead and do over and over and over again. And on top of that, even, you know, after that, after the Cell Saga, uh, in the Boo Saga, when Boo was going to go ahead and, you know, take out Hercules and Dende, he went ahead and saved them with a key blast of his own. Actually, it was a tri-beam, another tri-beam. The tri-beam itself is a cool move as well. He's a cool character with a cool design. If somebody, I feel, would look at the Dragon Ball characters and didn't know anything about Dragon Ball at all, and would, would just look at the characters and you'd be like, yo, who do you think is a top character, is a top guy in this series? I think if they see Tien, they'd be like, oh, Tien is probably one of the top characters. Maybe not Dragon Ball Super Tien, because his outfit in Super wasn't as cool as his outfit in Dragon Ball Z. But if they saw him in Z, I think they'd think, oh, Tien, this dude's Jack, this guy looks cool, he's got a third eye and everything. He's likely one of the strongest characters. I think Tien for me is a great and maybe even best of the best. Um, I'll put him in grade. But if there was something in between here, in between great and best of the best, I'd put him like in between. So we'll put him in the great section. And finally, that leaves us with Gohan. So I think if you were to ask most people, they'd say their favorite version of Gohan was Teen Gohan. For me, that wasn't the case. My favorite version was Ultimate Gohan. When he confronted Super Buu, I thought he looked super cool, and I thought he was a cooler looking version than Goku. He had a cooler looking hairstyle in the Ultimate form. But in Dragon Ball Super, obviously, you know, he focused on his studies once again, so he got weak, but then eventually, you know, with training with Piccolo, you know, getting the ultimate form back, he was back to being good again, but he, he didn't get a power up or a boost up as a lot of people were hoping for. I was also hoping for that, but despite that, he still did pretty well, actually he did do a good job in the Tournament of Power. Uh, as far as moves go, well, he doesn't really have any super unique moves he's got the kamehameha he doesn't have anything unique or whatever but he's still a cool character i hope that maybe when super returns we see more of gohan and gohan you know actually trains and gets stronger and can actually do something in the series of significance um as far as where i put him I'm gonna put him in the great section, and that I think concludes the list. I am looking at Trunks right now, and I'm thinking, should I put him in the great section? I'm not sure, man, because also like Gohan, he was cooler in Z than he was in Super, but in Super, I did prefer Gohan over Trunks. I, I think I'll keep him there, but if there was an option between good and great, I'd probably put Trunks in there. So this right here is my Dragon Ball Super tier list, or Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super tier list. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button. It's greatly appreciated, and I'm out. See ya.